Imagine this. Your feelings right now, how you feel at this very moment, could be shaping how you remember your past happiness. This isn't just a thought experiment. It's the core of a fascinating study by Prati and Senik. These researchers dive deep into the complex relationship between our current emotions and our memories of past well-being. Their journey began with the German Socioeconomic Panel's survey data. Picture a group of 11,056 people from 2006 to 2016, each year rating their life satisfaction on a scale of 1 to 10. Fast forward to 2016. These same participants were asked to choose from nine line graphs. Each graph depicted a different life satisfaction trajectory over the past decade. The catch? They had to pick the one that best mirrored their own journey. Here's where it gets intriguing. The graphs people chose closely mirrored their past survey responses. But, and it's a big but, there was a twist. Those feeling happier in the present were more likely to pick graphs showing a continuous rise in satisfaction. On the flip side, less satisfied folks often chose graphs indicating a dip in their well-being. Prati and Senek's findings echo a timeless truth. Our current mood colors our memories. It's like wearing tinted glasses. Everything we recall is influenced by the hue of our current emotions. The British Household Panel Survey provided more pieces to this puzzle. From 1997 to 2009, over 20,000 participants reported their life satisfaction. They also compared their current satisfaction to the previous year. About half were spot on in recalling their past feelings. But here's the catch. Those who were off in their recollections were usually influenced by how they felt at the moment of recalling. The French data from the National Institute of Statistics and Economic Studies added another layer. With 18,589 quarterly responses, a pattern emerged. On average, people remembered being less happy a year ago than what they actually reported. What does this all mean for us? It's a reminder of the power of the present over the past. Our current state of mind doesn't just shape our view of the future, it also reshapes our memories of the past. This insight isn't just academically interesting, it's a profound lesson in self-awareness and mindfulness. Understanding how our present emotions can distort our past can help us approach our memories and current feelings with a bit more clarity, and perhaps, a bit more kindness.